Australia are holding out hope that New England star Louis Lina will declare for them. The Harlequins wing, 20, was picked for Eddie Jones's most recent training camp, but qualifies for the Wallabies via his father Michael, and for Italy where he was born. Asked if he had given up on Lina playing for Australia, head coach Dave Rennie said, not until he's capped. We'll see how things go and whether there's any interest in him to come back to Australia. Meanwhile, Saracens reckon they are up against the best Newcastle side they have ever seen, as they prepare for their return to Premiership action at home. Series have not played at the Stonex Stadium in a top flight match in 370 days, since drawing to Bath in October 2020, so cannot wait to be back after salary cap breaches force their relegation. It's a long time ago, so it's going to be phenomenal to play in front of our fans again, said boss Mark McCall. There will be 8,000 or so in so it will be brilliant to see them as they've been through a lot over the last 18 months. And McCall reckons the Falcons' side visiting have come on leaps and bounds since Series were last in the league. I've been unbelievably impressed with Newcastle, he said. So far from the teams we've analyzed, they're the team that have progressed the most. I'm incredibly impressed with their energy. Their performance against Bathaway was outstanding. They've got a few injuries but it doesn't seem to matter. They've got a brilliant attitude and some players who are playing right at the top of their game. Adam Radwin and Nathan Earl can make something out of nothing. Their guys where nothing is on then something is on very quickly, so you need to be on high alert. But they get opportunities because of guys like Will Welch, Callum Chick, and Carl Fearns. Their pack is probably the best it's been for a long time. This is probably the best Newcastle team I've seen. Newcastle have not won at Saracens for 14 years. Their last victory was at Vicarage Road in 2007. Elsewhere, Exeter welcomed back three Lions against Worcester, new father Sam Simmons, whose partner gave birth to a daughter this week, Luke Cowan Dickey and Johnny Hill. Obviously it's great to have them back and available for selection, said Exeter coach Rob Baxter. They've certainly helped up the intensity of our Shadow 23 in training, but they've also challenged things in meetings as well. You can see with all of them a growing maturity of being away in that environment and knowing what is expected at the very top end of the game. They've not been afraid to question things and say things haven't been great these last few weeks. That can be hard to do, especially when you are not playing but it's them who are helping to drive the standards upwards among the whole group. 